Hello, Quaker Valley. I'm Tammy Andreco, the proud superintendent of schools for the Quaker Valley School District. I'm very excited to welcome you to 2020 as we embark upon the second part of our school year. We've made some great communication advances over the last several months and can't wait to share them with you. On our website, you will see two important pieces of information. The first thing that we want you to look at is our eBoard happenings. That is a quick synopsis of everything that happens at our board meetings each week. Gives you an opportunity to take a look at presentations, public discussion, maybe even student highlights of visitors or exciting things that were happening in the classroom. My name is Jillian Umstead. I'm a 12th grader at Quaker Valley High School and I am a student representative on the school board. I wanted to be a student representative because I really like helping my school and I want to make the school a better place and I thought that being a student representative would be a really good direct way to do that. I think it's important because uh, it gives a voice for the students that they don't have without us. Um, and I think it allows us to really connect with the school board and, and get those ideas across that wouldn't be possible. On our website, the second place we want you to look is at Blueprint QV. That gives you up-to-date information related to our high school project. On that page, you'll find research information or even invitations to attend community meetings where we may take a look at conceptual drawings Remember, we hope to see you at our board meetings, but if you can't make it there, we hope to have all of that information available for you to take a look at right at home. We're going to be reaching out more often to get community feedback related to our high school project and the many wonderful things happening within our school district. We understand that people get information in a variety of different ways, either through mailings or the newspaper or a website or social media. In 2020, not only will we continue our work with the high school project, but we're also looking to do a five-year plan, taking a look at all of our facilities in Quaker Valley, but predominantly what's going to be happening with the new high school. You're going to see that information on our website. And please note, in our frequently asked questions area, you can now submit questions to us, and that'll be something new for this year that we can answer along the way, so we make sure that you have the answers to the questions that you have. For instance, people have asked us, when is it going to start? When are you going to finish? Are we going to referendum? All of those questions related to finance will be available there for you. Because when we deal with Act 1, the Act 1 index asks us to go to referendum if we exceed the index or we need to go beyond our debt limit. At this time, we're not pursuing those avenues, but we want you to find out more information about it so you understand the decisions that we're making. So please check out our website. Also, as we do cost estimates, as we go out to do interviews of architects and engineers or bring community members in to give us feedback, we want you to know what has happened and so you can check back frequently to get your information that you need for your family. Don't forget, on our website, you can find great news happening about Quaker Valley, things happening for our students, our new calendar for next school year, many pieces of information that will make your life easier as a family. And if you have ideas or tips, don't hesitate to let us know because we're always looking to improve the way we communicate with you. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for checking out our website, our annual report, and our many pieces of information that we use to communicate with you. Remember, it's a great day to be a Quaker. Thanks for all of your support.